Hi and welcome to Koshy's Business Builders. I'm Alex Brophy and joining us today is former Apple and now Canva Chief Evangelist, Guy Kawasaki. Guy, thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Now you've built a tremendous social media following, not not creating content, but curating it. Can you yes. talk us through that process? Yes. Well, there are fundamentally two ways to provide content through your to your, to your followers. So you can either create it or you can curate it. And I have to tell you that creating enough content to feed what we call the content monster is very difficult. I mean, you really have to come up with ideas. You have to be writing all the time. So I have favored curation because lots of people are creating content, but they're not getting exposure for that content and people aren't finding it because you really have to dedicate yourself to finding great content. There's so much stuff out there. So my model is the value add is that I will find you great stuff that you would not have found or you would have found with great efforts. I'll save you time. So okay. my value add is finding you great stuff. I'm acting as a filter. What does the journey look like turning impressions into action? Well, that is one of the most challenging questions. You know, that's on, that, that gives every marketer every social media person nightmares, right? So we have to somehow curate or create content. We have to get people's attention. And so that's hard, but it's doable. Mm -hmm. you, know, you add value because so far you're not asking for anything from the viewer, the pot potential customer. But then to get them to onboard, to sign up, to start using your service, that's the gap. And that's the hard one. And it starts with a very compelling product. And it should be a compelling product that is comprehensible within 30 seconds. Uh, if you need 30 minutes to explain your product online, <laughs> nobody gives you 30 minutes. You have a minute, minute max. So quite a lot of it does boil down to that initial pitch, that, yes. that elevated pitch, if you like. It's 30 seconds. Okay, right. So again, whether it's sort of getting a champion for your product or appealing to an audience on social media... It's about targeting the right people. It's Well, I, I didn't say that. I said it's about enabling people to make instant decisions. I think it's very difficult to target. Uh, in the old days, maybe you could decide that, well, you have enterprise software, so what does a CIO read? So CIO reads CIO World or the Wall Street Journal or you know, pick a boring yeah yeah publication so you could target your market but i think in consumer internet plays you really you know wh how do you target you know how do you say well i want 18 to 25 year olds so where do i get them you know, how do i target that how do i find out that they're in australia i think you just have to let it rip and hope you reach them can you give us two three brands that do it really well in your eyes a couple of brands that do it well in my eyes uh, virgin america Virgin America really has a good mix of content for their travelers, for their destinations. Not about the airline per se, but mm -hmm. why you should go to the cities they fly to. Uh, your Australian Tourist Association has a very nice Facebook page. Uh, it's basically like Pinterest meets Australia. It's nothing Rock. but beautiful pictures about Australia. Uh, so that is very impressive. Cadbury, uh, the chocolate company, yep. they have a very good social media presence. But the, the concept that large brands use social media well is almost an oxymoron. Most large brands don't do it well. So what's the opportunity for small businesses then? The opportunity for small business is social media is the mother of all marketing platforms because it's fast, it's free, and it's ubiquitous. Yeah.